So do you people remember Richard Nixon and Watergate? And you tell me, what did Nixon do? He had an enemies list. What does this guy have? An enemies list. I mean, seriously, people, you expect me to believe that the President of the United States did not know about the IRS doing this? Are you kidding me? He's the one that's going around saying teabaggers. Remember? He's calling them teabaggers. Isn't it kind of ironic that they went after a tea party? Or if you had the name Patriot, how could that freaking be, purse people? If you had the name Patriot, let's go after anyone who has the name Patriot. Don't you think everybody wants to be a Patriot of whatever country they're from? Pro-life groups, go after them. But don't go after Don't profile terrorists. Don't go after commies. Yeah. But he says he didn't know. Well, then don't, doesn't it make him incompetent or unfit? What do you think? And how did he not know when Democratic senators sent letters, Schumer, Max Baucus, Franken, to the IRS to target tea baggers? Tea partiers, tea baggers. Listen to me. Tea partiers, right? Come on, senators did it. Geithner talked to Stevie Miller. And I don't think he was flying like an eagle. More like a buzzard, I think. What do you think? I mean, come on, people. The president said he heard it on TV. Are you kidding me? You might as well say, I saw it on a bathroom freaking wall. How's that sound? Heard it on TV. Really? Here's a guy that knew when Ben Laden was killed. Boy, everybody knew about it right away. But he heard about this on TV. When a guy goes, he's gay, a basketball player. Oh, he calls him over. Hey, I'm proud of you, son. I'm real proud of you, sonny. Good job, baby. We love you. But he heard about this on TV. You know, there's an Idaho man named Frank Vandersloot. Probably, I don't know. They probably thought it was Jordan Vandersloot's dad, right? This poor man donated a million bucks to Romney. And guess what? He got nailed. He got audited. It cost him 80 grand in fees to, to, for the IRS. Can you believe that? Now, Bill Maher, he donated a million bucks to the guy president. Did he get audited? I don't know. I doubt it. Huh? There was a Missouri man who did an interview with President Obama. Guess what? He got nailed after the interview. So who, who's stupid? Are we that freaking dumb, people? How stupid he got to be? This guy is so good. It's a joke how they de defend everything he does. It's amazing. I don't know why people do that. I don't defend every, anybody who's doing wrong like this. Nobody. I didn't defend Nixon. I'm not going to defend Nixon. But to sure and hell, everyone defends this guy. You see, every Democrat except for Kristen Powers, and I give her credit. She's telling the freaking truth. What is wrong with the truth in life? These Democrats don't want to hear the truth. They can't handle the truth. They're as dishonest as can be. It's amazing. And if people remember one thing, this guy was supposed to be different. He was supposed to be better. He was supposed to be better. But he goes after patriots. They go after Billy Graham. One of the best human beings on this planet Earth, Billy Graham, and his son Franklin Graham. But do they go after Muslim Brotherhood? How about CARE? You know the heard group CARE? Yeah, they don't only really care about us, but they're called CARE. It's an Islamic group, Muslim group, excuse me. And Crotch Pink, I'll probably go after Crotch Pink now, are many of Mad Hatters. Huh? How about them? You think he's going after them? You know what? I don't understand how anyone defends this man. This man could nuke a city. You know what they would say? Well, Truman did it. That's the logic. He will take no responsibility for anything he does. By the way, Truman nuked two cities. A Democrat, by the way. So, if Truman can nuke two cities, then Obama would have an extra city to do it. I mean, really? He can go out and drive drunk, kill a girl in the water. So, Kennedy did it. He can go out and cheat on his wife. Well, Clinton did it. All these senators did it. That's their excuse. That's their excuse. No matter what this king does, there's an excuse for him. That's how, that's how this guy rolls. It's sad. It's very sad. And then you got Dougie Shulman here. He went to the White House 118 times. And Doug... They said he was a Bush appointee. So what? He's a Republican. I don't care if he's a Republican. He's guilty. Bust him. Get him out of here. But you went to 118 times, and what happened? You, you didn't never mention this once to the President of the United States? Oh, okay. You went there for the Easter egg hunt for his kids. Oh, okay. Who's running the freaking place? Bugs Bunny or Bugsy Malone? I mean, come on, people. If you don't know what the hell you're doing, why are you running a place? You know what I think? I think Chris Matthews picks all these people up, and they all pick them up in a short bus when they go to work. The whole group. Obama, Biden, uh, Geithner. Pelosi, Reed, Feinstein, Boxer, the whole group and holders holding up the bus. They pick them up. You better bring your handicap sticker because you guys need it. These people are so dishonest and corrupt, it makes me sick to my stomach. How people defend the corruption, defend the dishonesty, and they always blame other presidents what they did. But you know what? Like I said, people, it doesn't matter because this king was supposed to be different, was supposed to be better, was supposed to be above all of us, and he is the most corrupt man I've ever seen in my life. And it's amazing how they defend this corruption. Oh, and they're going to let it go and say, well, as time goes by, uh, well, that was a long time ago. I did not know. I don't know. I didn't know. What the hell do you people know? What do you mean sit down? I did not know. I don't know. I don't know. Why are you asking me these questions? How could you dare ask me these questions? Really? The whole group. Holder. The whole group. The lady pleads the fifth. I don't know about you. When you plead the fifth, you're guilty as hell, man. Otherwise, if you're not guilty, if you're innocent, you're going to go out there talking, spewing, whatever you want. You know what I mean? And I want my fun final thing, people. Now, 
if they get me on here for doing a video and lock me up, you got to tweet Jay Secular. I've tweeted Jay before. He's tweeted me before. So all you people, I need your help if I get locked up for making a video. I'm just saying. You never know. But if you don't see me for two months, get Jay Secular, please. Let him help me out. Happy Memorial Day, everybody. <laughs> IRS, you got to love him.